just like that signing number two is through the door welcome to newcastle now mirror drives pevas this is a 19 year old six foot two serbian international for the youth team already in newcastle and it's probably the first time i've seen in years where newcastle fans have been able to spot this player before the journalists now i feel like especially with modern football while the the sad part about it is that whenever you go on social media you, you almost get leaked every single transfer the journalists know before anyone else and this is what the rare occurrences where it's actually been a pleasant surprise that has came out of nowhere and he's already been to the training ground he has already been inside the club shop with NUSC officials and because of the fact this is a free agent my impression is straight away it's done uh, it's our second player I believe this is the Tosin Adebayo replacement. So this is our player that we've got in instead of tossing out of bio. This is a 19-year-old lad can play as a defender, also as a defensive centre mid. And on top of that, free agent costs us nothing. So we're being able to get this player in, young, versatile by the sounds of it. I'm not going to lie, I haven't watched any videos of him yet, so I'm not going to pretend to come out and all of a sudden be a, a massive expert in this lad. But the truth is, this is someone that I feel like, again, for a free sign, he's going to be good. I get the impression who goes straight in the first team, he'd be someone that'll be floating around the squad until eventually it's time to bring him in. But a good deal, a good deal. And it's, I can't believe I'm saying this, but the, the, the first person I've seen put this on social media was Jordi Joshua. He, he must have got information from someone at the club shop or someone there, but it's actually true. You look now, the journalists have now started to report on it. Uh, Craig Hobbs came out of it, Fabricio Romano's came out of it afterwards. And all these journalists have actually kind of just came out after fans had spotted this player. But it's mental to see Newcastle pull a fast one out on the journalists. Now, to be fair to them, obviously they've got the Euros on at the minute, so a lot of them are going to be away in Germany. But not a single local journalist has picked up on it. Not a single one and two fans have spotted him inside the club shop. And it's a rare occurrence where Newcastle are being able to almost, they were that close to actually announcing the same when nobody had a bloody clue about it. I kind of wish they completed it, but no, they were that close to announcing it where nobody knew. So it actually would have been a surprise in social media, but it had been spot right at the end. And I got the impression that it's done. Obviously, he was a free agent. He's not going to travel all the way across from Serbia to basically go to the castle, then to go back home. I mean, uh, this is a player that clearly wants to join the club. The fact that he's been shown around the training ground, the fact that he's been shown to the club shop, Gives me the impression that he's probably got his media duties done. He will do his photographs, whatever it may be, and then he'll go back off for the remainder of the break until he's done. He is part of the Serbian uh, youth national team, by the way, not the official national team. So um, I believe he wouldn't have been in Germany. He wouldn't have went to the US. So it's not like Serbia obviously got knocked out yesterday and it's not like he's travelled across straight away. Uh, my impression is that obviously as part, part of the youth team, he wouldn't have been with the, any of the main players. So... Uh, he's came across from Serbia, he's obviously done his stuff and I wish I could tell you more about it. I'd love to come out in this video and big this kid up but I, I don't know anything about him so it's going to be someone that, it's going to be a good sign, it's a free sign, what's the worst that's going to happen, he's, he's not a good free sign but now at his age, big lad, um, always like a good Serbian player as well. And judging by our last Serbian player, Alexander Mikovic, this is going to be a player that is going to come in and just go for it and I love it, I love it. He's going to be a good player for us and it's not the only bit of news that has came out then on the topic of positive news let's talk about the one yesterday alexander isak our main player the one that you want to keep more than anyone else and of course it's been reported that chelsea will interest in him the chelsea will prepare to put that a bit in but since that it has been shot down a bit uh first in a positive news for newcastle because isak is happy here, it's like wants to stay here and it's not a case that the Chelsea moves kind of put his mind elsewhere, it's always been a case that it's like got his mind focused on Newcastle and opportunities came from Chelsea and he hasn't been interested is what the belief is in social media and they've put further good information into that the fact that Chelsea can't afford him which sounds obvious because <laughs> I think all of you guys watching my side, I think anyone in social media can just look and go well actually well Hang on, hang on a minute. How can you buy him when you you got to sell this? And yeah, that, that's the impression that's coming out by journalists. So even though Chelsea are interested, according to some journalists, all one saying that they can't even put a bid in for him. So um, it doesn't seem feasible enough. But Chelsea would outright buy him. I think to actually get someone of his quality, in, you're probably looking at the two hundred million pound mark. As mad as it sounds, Newcastle have been firm on it. 
they've said no we are not selling at all we aren't doing it so the fact that we are in that situation it just doesn't look like he's going to go anywhere and i'm confident to say that he's going to stay i was confident at the end of the season i was confident at the start of the window and i'm confident now to still bank on it and still go it's like it's not going anywhere because it's, it just is our place for it. I don't think Newcastle will, will go through with such a thing. But it's good news. In terms of players going out the door, again, as we know, this week is a big week because Newcastle has to sell players before June the 30th. Jan Cuba Minta is the one that Newcastle seems to continue to try to get rid of. Leon, £40 million, according to social media. Minta says, no, I do not want to move. I want to be in the Premier League now. Straight away, obviously, I know that's a, a bit of a bad thing in the Newcastle point of view because, obviously, we're looking to sell the lad. The lad said no, but I've got to say it to the lad. Fair play. I mean, it's his choice at the end of the day. He's someone that hasn't had an opportunity to play for Newcastle. I know a lot of you guys watching this video now believe that Jan Kuba should have the chance to play for Newcastle, and especially because we're, we're a club that is banging on so much about needing a right-hand side attacker. That is exactly his position. For me, I still think he's a raw player, but for you guys, I can understand your argument against that. Obviously, give him time, give him some games and see what he can do. So that's kind of the balance in between, but Newcastle obviously are looking for a sale where all the profits are going to come in and it just allows us to then be able to clear anything off and then we can actually go ahead, sell some players and buy some players in this window. But Jan Cuba is sticking to his guns. No, I don't want to move unless it's a Premier League team. Then fair enough, I can't blame the lad for that. And whatever happens next, you can understand his point of view and obviously he has to do what's best for himself and his family and if that's the choice he wants to make. Who are we as fans to go, no, you shouldn't do it, a lad, go away to lay on it. It's not how it works. So I will back the lad, I will back his the choice even if it doesn't necessarily help Newcastle. But I still believe he'll most likely leave. Um, it just seems like Newcastle just don't want anything to do with him. So even if it's a case where if I have to sell to Everton for potentially a smaller fee, it almost sounds like Newcastle are desperate to do that unless they do sell a couple of players out of nowhere. And when you talk about those couple of players out of nowhere, it brings you onto the two that we expect to leave in the summer. Callum Wilson and Miggy Almoron. And it's been reported that, of course, Saudi Arabian clubs are still interested in these two. And I think especially for Wilson, any, any good money you've got to take it for them. And I probably believe a Saudi club would actually just do that. Uh, I know obviously the Premier League will view every single transfer and people on social media will go, well, actually, hang on. Uh, how has this Saudi team got this from Saudi Arabian ownership, Newcastle? But uh, listen, we've got to do what's best for us. So as long as it's fair market value and it doesn't look like Newcastle will break any rules, which obviously if it's a fair sale, then it's a fair sale. So if you can get some money for Wilson, 100% take it. He's got a good goal scoring record, but the reality is, his injury record is even worse. It is horrendous. So we've, we've got a shot to get rid of, in my opinion. Who we replace him with? We still don't know the answer to that one. And as for Miggy, he's someone that excites me a little bit. Because to be fair, young Cuba Minter, Miggy's in the same situation. January, Newcastle got some money in for him. You're talking a good 25, 30 million pounds from a Saudi Arabian club. Miggy said, no, I don't want to move. And again, you've got to respect the player on that. But for me... I feel like his time is up. We've got to sell Miggy now. I'm not a fan of him. I think his goal scoring record is poor, with the exception of that purple patch that he had under our Champions League season. But other than that, he just hasn't got the stats that I think is good enough in the Premier League. I think he's extremely one footed, and I think he's probably quite a predictable player to catch out. And we've got to sell him now. Um, we get good money for him. We can buy a player that is better in quality and better in ability. And Newcastle can get somewhere. I'm not the biggest fan of Miggy. I know some of you guys may disagree with that, but for me, I feel like we do have to sell him. And if we get anything, again, that £30 million mark, it's a no brainer for him. He's someone that I'm looking to sell. Saudi Arabian clubs looks like they come back and form again. So it's whether this time he has a change of mind, a change of heart. Maybe Newcastle might be a bit ruthless and try and force him out and try and make sure that Miggy does make that choice. But at the end of the day, it's still his choice to make, and we'll see what happens in that. But it's a big week though, still expecting players to go out the door, obviously according to the PSL rules and according to what social media say, this says that Newcastle has to sell before the 30th of June, so what players will go out is going to be interesting. But it looks like Yankee Minta, Maggie Wilson, looks like the trio that are probably going to go out. I think Trippier is still a bit fortunate mate, due to the fact that you use it on, but he's a no one that I can see leaving in this window. Other than that, I think our big dogs are going to stay, I think our big lads are going to stay and... Um, Obviously, the news before, we've got a new signing, we've got a new one. Um, <laughs> I'm buzzing this one, I'm actually quite looking forward to watching some videos later and just seeing a bit more about this lad, so I'm better educated when I talk about him. But 
It's one of the first times in a long time where a signing's actually kind of caught us all off out of out of nowhere, really. I think the last one's probably is Even then, it was still just a case that during this report, the deal out of nowhere, but it, they still kind of knew about it. Whereas in this case, for the first time, the fans have actually spotted this one. Fans have spotted this lad at the, at the club shop and training ground and then talked about it, which is mad to think, but... I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing about this one, but let me know your opinions down below, guys. For me, it's a worst case scenario. It's, it's a lad that can't, that struggles getting the Premier League. It's a free signing, like, just let him go if you had to. But nah, it's a good lad, young lad. He's got a lot of national team experience already in terms of youth ability. Someone that is that replacement that we needed for tossing. We've got a lad in there now. He's going to grow with a club, going to grow with a team, man. Six foot two at 19, Serbian lad. This is going to be someone that is going to get straight into tackles. I love to, love to see it. I'm sure this is a lad that's going to do well at Newcastle. So um, join me in welcoming him and join me in seeing where the club grows next. One more bit of news before we get into the outro I'm going to talk about now because of the fact that information has came out late into the night now with me recording this video. It goes up at seven in the morning, so... I have a chance now to almost add additional information because Romano has tweeted out since my original recording that AC Milan has now opened up talks in Newcastle now about the possibility of Malik Fowl, which is their centre half, coming to us and Q and Trippier going over there. Now, I mentioned in my video already, in terms of the centre half, I don't think it's realistic. You've got to think about it. We already have Lloyd Kelly, which is one defender. This is the second defender, so that's two. Uh, Lewis Hall is technically going to be a third side in this window, so that's three defenders. I don't see us getting an our defender in and bear in mind as well this player is going to cost us a decent amount of money we were linked to tomorrow now it's our AC Milan centre half so you could believe that there's a possibility that it's a bit of a, a Barella Tenali situation again but in this case you're spending a good amount of money in a centre half which is just a position that's not a main priority for us now so realistically I don't think we'll bring the centre half in however I think Trippier going the other way is interesting because that's one that I do seem plausible Trippier again, currently at the Euros, if you're getting anything where it's 15 to 20 million pounds, I think it's hard to rule it out. And he's a player that has a mixed opinion. My fans, some fans will go straight away, yes, we should sell him for that amount of money. And our fans say he's getting older, yes, but his importance in the dress room is massive. He still is a good player. I'm, I'm, I'm in the fence with this one, but I can actually potentially see Trippier going out to maybe a team like AFC Milanza. Let's keep an eye on it. I wanted to mention that point main because I think the the selling trip your part is definitely valid. I, I believe that could be possible. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to get down and smash that like button. We'll we'll see what happens over the next few weeks. Still expecting a heavy, heavy window. Sounds like in terms of defenders, that's going to be the defenders now. So obviously Lewis Hall hasn't been announced yet, but his deal's already done. Newcastle had to finish below 14 from the table for that deal not to happen. He's reached the criteria. He's going to be our player, so that's a signing. Obviously Lloyd Kelly's came in already. That's a signing. We've got this lad now, so that's three already. Newcastle next will go for straighter, white winger and the goalkeeper. So it sounds like probably those three. And I think we'll stop with those three. I don't think we'll get any more unless a, a, a deal that's too good to turn down pops up. My impression is we'll, we'll buy three more now. I think it's a goalkeeper straight out of right wing. And as for players going out, I'm still expecting a few to go out. I think there'll be a couple of big ones that will go out. Players that have obviously been here for a few years or players that have got a bit of value to them. And I'm expecting some of your lesser players. Like said to Brad, guys, to be fair, it's done well versus Slovakia. I've got themselves in the last 16, but the reality is... He's going to want first team football after this international spell, so he's going to go. There'll be a few players in there. You guys have heard him a million times already. You know which ones are, know which ones are going to go. I think Trippier, yeah, Miggy, and Wilson are the interesting ones. Maybe you'd like some Willock and Long stuff as well. Players that maybe could stay, maybe could go. Some intrigue to see what happens to these lads. I hope we we'll keep most of them, but at the end of the day, we've still got a sell for money. We've got to invest and do better to make sure that we can do better in the league and domestic competitions as well. So we'll see what happens with Newcastle. It's been an interesting one though, it's been a good one. I've enjoyed sitting out here uh, a lot of time now, just talking about this club, talking about where we're going, and it's, uh, it's a great deal to get done. So I'm glad we got it done, and I'm glad it's came out of nowhere. I swear it's an exciting time, but appreciate you guys watching. Take care, and we'll see you all in the next one.